Hello and uh, welcome to this tutorial. I'm glad you found it. Glad you found the time to watch it. It's about redox potential, cell diagrams and EMF and uh, cadmium and nickel in particular. So the aim is that we're learning to work out the EMF of a cell from redox potentials. We're learning to write an overall equation for the reactions involved. So the question which I'm going to work through, it says use the following data to work out the EMF and write the overall equation for the reaction in a nickel cadmium alkaline battery. So the equations which you're given is a half equation for a nickel uh, with, with its standard electrode potential and the same for cadmium. So to be clear about how we'd proceed here, if we have a half equation where A is gaining an electron becoming A minus with a cell uh, electrode potential of one volt and then B becoming B minus has an electrode potential of two volts, then we would say that the more positive electrode will proceed in the forward direction. That is that this one will go in that direction and that one will go in the opposite direction. So I could say here that that's the uh, reduction uh, going in this direction because you're gaining the electron and that's oxidation in that direction because you're losing the electron and we went in the forward direction because 2 is a more positive number than 1. So following that logic through to this example here then we could say that the plus 0.52 is more positive than minus 0.88 so we'd say that this nickel one goes in the forward direction and the cadmium one will occur in the reverse direction. So to work out the EMF we're going to take that plus 0.52 and then because we're going in the reverse direction we're going to change the sign of the second electrode potential there plus 0.88 uh, which equals 1.0 point four zero give it a unit give it a sign and that sign positive sign means that that's the reaction which will proceed to write out the full equation I recommend to rewrite uh, the half equations with the more electro no, with the more negative electrode reversed so the uh, nickel one was the more positive that stays exactly the same but the cadmium one uh, I've written with everything on the right now on the left everything on the left now on the right that's the one which was reversed. And now to combine these half equations, uh, I've got to make sure that the electrons are going to cancel. There's two there, so I'm going to need two there. So I'm going to double everything up for the nickel half equation. And then to write out the full equation, I'm going to take all of those things, and they're going to go on the left-hand side. And then I'm going to take all of those things. They'll go on the right-hand side and the electrons will be able to cancel them out. So there I've uh, written everything on the left on the left and everything on the right on the right. Also these two OH minuses, they'll cancel out as well. So here's our overall equation with the two of that nickel species with two waters plus the cadmium going to two of this nickel species with that cadmium hydroxide. So to summarise what we've done, uh, to determine the cell uh, EMF, the more positive electrode proceeds in the forward direction. So in this case here, we would say that uh, 0 point, minus 0 0.6 is more positive, so that will occur in the forward direction, and therefore the more negative in the reverse direction. And then to work out the overall EMF, we take the more positive electrode, so in this case the minus 0 0.6, and then subtract the more negative, so a double negative there would be plus 1.5 which would give plus 0.9 volts and that should always come out as a positive number. To write the balanced equation rewrite the half equations with the more negative electrode reversed so that was the B one in this case so I've written that the other way around and then we need to multiply up uh, to balance the electrons well, two electrons there so we need to balance there then we take all of those things they'd become the left hand side of the whole equation there'll be the things on the right hand side and the two electrons will cancel out. Okay, so I hope that's made sense. If it has, then perhaps you'd be able to have a go at this question. What would the correct EMF and equation be for the reaction between uh, 
cadmium and vanadium these uh, species okay thanks for watching and bye for now